Hello and welcome to the chapter on list manipulation. This is the part 7 of this particular chapter and in this part I am going to discuss about the topic counting frequency of elements in a list. So let's get started with today's topic. So the first thing that we need to know here is frequency. Now from your lower classes you have already studied statistics and there you have already got the term frequency. So what is frequency? It refers to the number of times a particular element appears in a list. So how many times a particular element occurs in a list is known as frequency. For example, let us consider a list X with the elements as shown in the screen. Now if someone asks me the frequency of 2, what will be the frequency of 2? I need to count how many times 2 occurs in this list. As you can see here, 2 occurs 3 times in this list. So the frequency of 2 in this list is 3. Now if someone asks me the frequency of 5, you need to count how many times 5 occurs in this particular list. As you can see from here, 5 occurs 2 times. So the frequency of 5 in this particular list is 2. Now we are going to implement a program to find the frequency of an element. For this, what we are going to do, we, at first we are going to accept the list from the user and then we are going to ask the user which element the user wants to find the frequency of. And depending on the user input, we are going to count the frequency of elements and then display it to the user. So let's get started with the practical implementation of this particular program. So what is this program all about? This program is all about finding the frequency of an element in a list. The first thing is we need to take a variable and in that variable we will ask the user to enter a list. Okay, so eval input for accepting a list the function uses use this eval input so let's give an instruction here like enter a list to find frequency okay so the user will enter a list and the frequency of that particular list will be found out after that let's take a variable let's say it as length length equals to len of l so the length of the list we will find out length means the number of elements of a particular list i'll trace the program line by line don't worry if you don't understand uh, it completely in the first attempt okay now i'll take a variable let's call it as ele which will be the element for which i want to find the frequency so in the variable ele i'm going to receive it let's call it as uh, int so enter the element to find frequency all right now let's say the count of the element as zero because uh, we have not yet started counting so to keep a track of the count of element let's take a variable count and initialize it to zero after that what we'll do we'll traverse this list like for i in range how to traverse the entire list zero comma length we need to move through the entire length of elements hence for i in range zero comma length after that if l l is the uh, variable in which the list is stored l i in each iteration one element of the list will be scanned and i'm going to compare that element with the element which frequency we need to find out so if l i equals to equals to e l e what i'm going to do i'm going to increment the counter by one which will be count equals to count plus one so this loop will go on till the entire list is scanned and as the element to be scanned is found the count will be incremented by one then I'll come out of the loop and at the end I'll be having the 
updated or the latest value of count which I want to display here. So I'll be displaying it here. Let's say frequency of ELE is comma count. In the variable count, the updated or the final value of count will be stored. And I have displayed it uh, not within the loop but beyond the loop in the main part of the program. So let's save this program and let's run it. Enter a list to find frequency. Let's say the list is 2, 1, 4, uh, 6, 2, 4, 7. Then it is asking me to enter the element to find frequency. Let's say I type 4. It is showing that the frequency of 4 is 2. So that means 4 has occurred how many times? 4 has occurred 2 times. Therefore, it is showing that frequency of 4 is 2. Let's run it again and take another input now. Let's say 11, 22, 33, 44, 33, 77. Let's say enter the element to find frequency. Let's say 44. It is showing frequency of 44 is 1 because 44 has occurred how many times? 44 has occurred only one time. Therefore, it is showing that frequency of 44 is 1. Now, let me trace this program line by line for you for better clarity of the code. So, this is the code which we did just now. Let's assume this to be the output screen. All right. So, what will be the first line of the output? Eval input, enter a list to find frequency. So, what will come here? Un enter a list to find frequency. Let's say the list is 2, 4, 8, 4, 7. Let's say this is the list. Second line is length equals to len L. I'll give the explanation here length equals to len l what len does is it counts the number of items present in the list so how many items are present in the list one two three four five so length is five which is the list the list is two four eight four seven two it is zero four it is one 8 it is 2, 4 it is 3, 7 it is 4. So these are the indexes of the list. Next is, next line is ELE equals to int input enter the element to find frequency. So what will come in the output screen? Enter the element to find frequency. Let's say I want to find the frequency of 4. So 4 will be stored in which variable? It will be stored in the variable ELE. So ELE is how much? ELE is 4 here. Let's go to the next line which says count equals to 0. See, I need to count the frequency of elements. So a counter is required to keep a track of the number of elements. So I have not yet started counting the elements. So what will be the value of count? The value of the variable count is initialized to 0. After that, the loop will run. From this line till this line, it is a part of the loop. So what is written there? For i in range 0, comma length. What is the value of length? Value of length is 5. So what will be the elements in this range? The elements will be 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now, I will take the first value as 0. So, the first value of i is 0. After that, it will take 0 and it will come inside this particular loop. What is there? If li equals to equals to le. li means l. What is the value of i? 0. l0 means the value present at the index 0. What is the value present at the index 0? It is 2. So L0 means how much? It is 2 equals to equals to LE. 
I want to find the frequency of which element? I want to find out the frequency of 4. So is 2 equals to 4? No, 2 is not equals to 4. So it will not get a chance to get inside this particular if block. So what it will do? It will reiterate the loop. This time the value of i will be how much? This time the value of i will be 1. It will take 1 and it will come inside this loop and then again this particular if block will be checked. If li equals to equals to le, what is li? li means l1 equals to equals to le. le is what? For which element I want to search? I want to search for 4. L i means 1 means what? L1 means the value present at the index 1 which is 4. Is 4 equals to 4? Yes, 4 is equals to 4. That means it is true. That means it will get a chance to go inside this loop now. So it will come here and uh, what it will see? It will see that count equals to count plus 1. Sorry, this is uh, this particular statement is not a loop. It is a selection statement. So count equals to count plus 1. So c equals to c plus 1. What is the present value of count? It is 0, 0 plus 1 equals to 1. So once I get a new value of a variable, you need to forget about the previous value. So I will forget about the fact that count had a value of 0 initially because I have got an updated value which is 1. Then again the loop traversal is not yet complete. So the loop will again run this time with the value of i as 2. So what will be checked if l i means l2 equals to equals to element element is 4 what is present at the index 2 8 is 8 equals to 4 no 8 is not equals to 4 so it will not come inside this particular block understood so what will happen now this time again now again the loop will be traversed this time with the value of i as 3 so if l i means if l 3 equals to equals to ELE. I am running this particular line. What is ELE? ELE is 4 because I want to find the frequency of 4. What is present at the index 3? 4 is present at the index 3. Is 4 equals to 4? Yes, it is true. Since it is true, it will come inside this particular block and count equals to count plus 1 will be executed. So, what is the current value of count? Current value of count is 1. So, 1 plus 1 is 2. So we have got a new value of count. So the previous value of count will be erased and we'll get a new value of count which is how much? Which is 2. Now again the loop will be reiterated. This time the value of i will be 4. So what will be checked? If l i equals to equals to le. That means if l 4 equals to equals to le. What is, what is the uh, element for which I want to find frequency it is 4 what is present at the index 4 7 is present at the index 4 so is 7 equals to 4 no it is false so uh, now all the elements of the loop are traversed so it will come out of the loop and this particular that is the last line will be executed what is there in the last line frequency of le what is the value stored in the variable le it is 4 frequency of 4 is count what is the latest value of count the latest value of count is 2 so it will show that frequency of 4 is 2 in this way this particular program is being traced i hope that this particular topic is very much clear see the chapter flow of control is very important because the concept of loop is used in each and every chapter almost. So if it is not very clear, I would suggest you to go back and review that chapter in order to understand these codes better. All right. So this is the code for finding out the frequency of elements in a list, which we did just now. And this is one of the outputs. Now with this, we have come to the end of this particular uh, chapter. Now we'll just have an overview of what are the topics there in this particular chapter so that you can have a better idea about 
which topic to be studied from which part. So in the first part, we discussed about introduction to list, indexing and traversing a list using loops. If you want to study these topics, you need to go and review the part one of this particular chapter. It is highlighted by Brown here. In part two, we discussed about some operations on, on list like concatenation, repetition, membership and slashing denoted by the blue color mark here. In part three, we discussed about all the built-in functions of list as per our syllabus. For studying this, you need to go through the part number three. It's highlighted by green here. In part four, we discussed about nested list. Nested list means if within one list, we have another list. It is known as nested list. For studying about nested list, you need to go through part number four. Then we went for the suggested programs. The first program being finding the maximum minimum mean of arithmetic value stored in a list. For studying it, you need to go through part number five. Part number six consists of linear search on a list of numbers. And finally, the latest part and this part is part number seven where we discussed counting the frequency of elements in a list. So these are all the topics as per the syllabus. If more topics are added in the near future, I'll be adding it up in this particular playlist. I hope that this session was useful. I'll see you again with a different chapter. Thank you very much.